hey what's up so it is tuesday april 6 11 11 p.m and i'm starting a new reading vlog and this reading vlog will be of six of crows by lee bardugo so literally the tagline is all i know about this book which is six dangerous six dangerous outcasts one impossible heist yeah so this is the first book in the six of crows duology and i would like to thank my friend carlini for lending me her books because i don't own this duology so she did a little drive by a, like a week ago or something um and dropped up <laughs> the books in my front door um because you know we, we still are not seeing each other because covid is still a thing but yep yeah, i'm gonna be reading six of crows in this vlog i'm excited because everybody seems to love this book this um this duology so i'm excited to hop into it and to learn about these new characters and yeah so i'm super excited for this um and yeah so um i'm not gonna read right now i'm gonna read in a little bit in a little while um but i'll keep you guys updated once i actually do some reading what's up so it is <laughs> now technically it's sunday april 11th 1:53 a.m and basically when i started this vlog i didn't actually start reading that day i um i i wasn't i didn't want to read i actually didn't start it that day i actually started the book i think friday night I've only read like a chapter and then um most of what i have read has been today well yesterday saturday because now it's, it's a new day because it's past midnight um so yeah so i've been reading six of crows by lee bardugo i just finished part one i'm about to start <laughs> part two which is starting with chapter seven i'm <laughs> i'm on page 103 so thoughts so far first going into it i was confused <laughs> because there's new characters um, technically i'm i'm trying to like understand how this ties into the grisha trilogy the original trilogy i'm, I'm a little confused and then i'm just like any little thing i'm just like wait even though i just read the grisha trilogy I'm like, wait, was that character in 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 the original trilogy? I don't remember. This um in chapter one, this one character that was like, wait, was she in the original trilogy? I don't know. I still don't know. I'm a mess. But yeah, I was I was a bit confused. Um, it's multiple characters because six dangerous outcasts, one impossible heist six new characters so i'm just like i'm still getting to know them learning because um learning about learning about these new characters because each there are multiple is multiple perspectives so i've mainly gotten chapters in the point <laughs> point of view of Cass, um nina and inej yeah so those are the three so far that i've gotten so and i'm not still more i need to meet <laughs> so yeah there has been um some really funny lines and i'm really interested to see like um this group's dynamic because everybody seems to love this group so i'm interested to see their dynamic and yeah and just like how they pull up this heist and what's gonna happen and yeah Oh, also, I'm um, very interested in Nina's past because 
let's just say that I'm interested in her past because her, her past with Mateus, is how you say it? Michael's things. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to continue on with this and just like learning more about these characters and yeah, just diving more into this story. Um, so for now, I don't know if I'm gonna continue reading tonight or I'm just gonna call it a night and go to sleep. I don't know. But um, I'm gonna update you guys again tomorrow in the morning. I don't know. But I'll update you guys again later. I don't know what the sound is. But let's talk about how I haven't vlogged today. I haven't started reading. I'm about to, right? So I make myself. <laughs> So I make myself a nice cup of tea, right? I'm walking over to my desk with the tea, right? I'm coming here and then I trip over my laptop charger and it went flying. <laughs> Got all over here. Somehow it missed the book it got a little a tiny tiny bit on the book but pretty much missed it it got a tiny bit on my laptop i mainly just landed here but i can't believe that happened yeah i have to clean up this mess now fun hey what's up so tuesday april 13th 10 23 p.m and okay let's do whoops let's do a reading update i don't remember the last time i spoke to you guys where page I was on but I'm on page and it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while since I've done an update I'm on chapter 14 page 161 of six of crows <laughs> by Lee Bardugo and so far I'm still just trying to like learn about the characters um get to know it because there are um six main characters I'm still really interested, I don't know if I already said this, really interested in Nina's backstory. Nina and, um, Mateus? What's his name? Yeah, Mateus. I'm interested in their backstory because there's history there and I'm intrigued to know what that history is and what Nina did. So, very intrigued. I, I'm... And I'm really interested to find out more about all these characters and to get more into this heist and just see what happens and just see like why everyone loves this duology so much. Um, I am also still reading Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco and I'm not sure what page I'm on. I think I'm on chapter like 19. That one I'm reading pretty slowly because I'm only really reading Sometimes I read on the train, sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't feel like reading on the train. Um, so I'm mainly just reading it right before bed. So I'm not getting a lot done, which as soon as I'm done with doing this clip, I'm going to get ready for bed and read a little bit of Kingdom of the Wicked um, before I go to sleep. But the main reason why I wanted to do a update for this vlog is because I've got book mail. Yes. So, um, this is a book. I already owned the hardcover. The paperback came out, but see what happened was they were offering a sticker pre-ordered. You pre-ordered it from um, this indie store. I forgot the name of the indie store. Hopefully, it says it inside. Hopefully, there's a packing slip. So, you got a sticker with it, and I was like, I want the sticker. Um, but it actually works out because I'm thinking about rereading the series. And because the series and the hardcover, I have all four books in the hardcover, but um, they have the gold edges and I want to annotate. So I feel like it would be better to just annotate the paperbacks. So I only have the last book of the paperback, which is this book. Um, so I'll slowly try and buy the paperbacks of the first three books so I can do a reread and actually annotate the book. <gasps> Why? They, they, they wrapped it up. It's so cute. They wrapped it up. Oh, 
Yes, is Invitation Bookshop. It's in Jake Harbor, Washington. See, it's a indie bookstore, so um yeah. So isn't it so cute? Little, they wrapped it up, they put a little stamp. So cute. Uh, I'm excited to see the sticker. Okay, let's open this up. Open it up. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where the sticker is. Oh, it's probably inside the book. Okay. So, this is Five Dark Fates by Kendar Blake. Yeah, this is the last book in the Duda Cron series. It's one of my favorite series. The series is so amazing. I feel like the series just got better as the books went on. Love. Oh, if you if you don't know, so Three Dark Crowns is about this island called Thunderbird Island where Oh, I'll show you the first book. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, so it's the first book Three Dark Crowns. So um in this island, Fembro Island, it's um, an island run by queens. So every generation, I guess. <laughs> A set of triplet queens are born and they each have like a magical ability. Uh, so in this book we follow Mirabella who's an elemental, Arsenal who's a naturalist, and Katarine who's a poisoner. So so like again like once the, each set of triplets like each generation um, once they reach the age of 16 this thing that's called belting happens and then um when they turn 16 they have to fight to the death to see who is going to be crowned the queen because only one of them can be left standing to actually rule fenburn island when, and when i say battle to the death it's more of a strategy kind of murder <laughs> it's murder um so it's not like the it's not like the Hunger Games where like they put you in an arena and you have to like fight until this one person standing. It's more it's more of a strategy type where um, you have to like outsmart your other sisters, your other your other sisters, and try um, pretty much try try and kill them without them knowing. I hope I'm explaining that right. But this series is so good. I freaking love it. And yeah. So that's what the first book is about. So yeah. So the last book. I just spoke for. Just came out in paperback. This is it. So this has um, includes a bonus epilogue. So once I reread this. That would be cool. Where's my sticker? Oh, I found it. Oh my god. <laughs> I honestly got really sad. I found it. Woo, okay. <laughs> so this is the sticker. So we have the three queens. So we have... Let's see, we have... Arsenal. Mirabella. And Katarine. Isn't it so pretty? I love this sticker. And then it says three dark crowns on there. So yeah, I honestly got so sad that they didn't put the sticker in there. Not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I'm excited. Love it. And it's also signed. Oh, okay, so it just says um, farewell, Fenburn, with a little heart, and then Kendar Blake's signature. So yeah, but yes, there's my little sticker. Here's the book, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna reread the series, but I'm excited, and I'm obviously gonna vlog it because I feel like this series is a bit underhyped. It has some hype, but not as much of a hype as like other books. So yeah. So that is my update for now and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow because tomorrow's the last day I'm working in the week. So then I'll have I have um Thursday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday off so we can 
chill with each other and read. <laughs> so yeah, um, talk to you guys again tomorrow. Hey, what's up? <laughs> um, it's Friday, April 16th, 4.28 p.m. Basically, I haven't picked this up since I don't know when. I'm still on page 161, chapter 14. I may, I usually don't really read that much these at work. And I, this week I worked Monday through Wednesday. I had yesterday off, but then yesterday I had to assemble these two cabinet things. Which I regretted pretty much immediately. <laughs> I'll put in a clip of me re um, regretting my decisions. <laughs> I regret all my life choices. Yeah. So yeah, I was doing that and that took me like five and a half hours to do. So it took a good chunk of the day, but I did read. I was like, oh, I should find an audiobook so I could listen to it while I'm assembling this furniture, this cabinet. So and then I wanted something easy to like listen to, so something easy that didn't need didn't need my 100% attention. So where's my Libby? I ended up getting my um, borrowing my favorite half nine stamp by Christina Lauren from um, Libby. <laughs> I listened to 65% of this book. I listened to four hours and 38 minutes. Of this book yesterday just assembling that um so yeah i have been reading some of kingdom of the wicked because i read it pretty much i try every night before going to before going to sleep but i never get that much done because i get sleepy so i stop reading so i'm on chapter 22 of kingdom of the wicked by carrie maniscalco which is page 170 um so for this for kingdom of the wicked i am still enjoying it i'm still like waiting for it to like really start picking up there have been like a few like funny lines that i've enjoyed and just like seeing wrath and what's her name um milia i think it's what her name is yeah um enjoying um seeing their interactions because they hate each other so that's been fun um so, yeah, so with six of crows i can't really tell you much because i haven't read since the last time i've actually read this so but i'm fixing that today I'm fixing that today um it's 4 31 right now oh i'm which i said i was gonna start at 4 30 gonna read for like an hour and a half or try to read as much in an hour and a half as i can um so yeah so six the crows and then um at six i'm gonna do laundry so i'm gonna be editing a video while i do laundry because that my that i'm gonna have to edit a reading vlog which has to go up tomorrow which that doesn't have to but i wanted to go up tomorrow and my phone keeps yeah um so I'll do that for like two hours. I don't know how long my laundry is gonna take, but um, I allowed myself two hours for um, six to eight to just do editing and laundry. And then at eight, Mel Reads is doing a is doing life reading sprints, so I'll go back to reading Six of Crows once that starts. So those are my plans for tonight, and let's get to reading.
Hey. <laughs> um, it's 10.46. Still Friday. P.M. Um, so I've been reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I am now in the middle of the chapter on page 241. So I'm in the middle of chapter 20. And okay. I'm really enjoying like just like getting to know these characters just because there are there's so many perspectives. Oh, there's a few. Oh, I don't really know how many perspectives. There's a few perspectives. So, I am having fun. I am enjoying just getting to know all these characters. Um, and learning about their back... Their backstories and where they come from. And, you know, like, just like what shaped them to be who they are in this book. Um, but I am ready for the pace to pick up a bit and for there to be some action and just you know some chaos <laughs> um yeah so I'm, I'm i'm ready for that um when it comes to nina because i know i mentioned nina and matthias a few times because i was really interested about why their dynamic and like why they acted a certain way towards each other especially matthias to nina and i've gotten more information about their background and why he has so much hate hatred toward her but kind of a little bit of love too so um yeah and there are some things with matthias where it's like um do you need to like um get your what's that word oh my god i lost the word <laughs> um like the things you you believe in figured out and stray because some of the things that you believe is like messed up what is the word i'm looking for um morals <laughs> he needs to he's to like um fix his morals because some of the things that he said is um messed up and i'm like a bro uh no <laughs> that's not okay um but then again it's like i understand why he feels that way just because of um like the country that he's from and their and like what they tell like their community their people um things like it's it's, it, it's mainly about the grisha um and how they treat them and the things they believe about them um and pretty much the lies that they spread about them i'm like i mean if he has said some things i'm like dude no but you can kind of tell that maybe he doesn't want to believe in those things i don't know but yeah i'm so very interested to learn more about them i want to see more of Cass because it seems like everyone loves Cass, and i'm like okay <laughs> i'm not in love with him i'm more interested in nina and matthias in their backstory i think we've gotten more with them and then with cats i feel like we haven't gotten that we've gotten some information about him but not a lot yeah and who else yeah yeah we got like a good amount of information about inej um, but yeah, right now I'm just ready for the action and for there to be a little bit of chaos going on because that's what I live for. <laughs> I live for like the craziness, the high pace, um, the, high, the, the high pace, um, the, the high pace, um, um, high stakes, um, plot lines. Yes. So that's what I'm ready for. I think we're about to get there. So yeah. Um. I'm still watching Mel reads her live sprints. So I'm gonna keep sprinting with them until it's over. And then, yeah, so I'll have you guys again later once I've done some more reading. Hey, so it's 11.51 on Saturday, April 17th. And... I've been reading, 
reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I just got to page 398. I'm on chapter 38, which is a cast chapter. So the plot has started to pick up. Um, they are they are deep in their heist um, and actually like, executing their plan. But of course, things don't always go according to plan. A lot of things. They've had some setbacks, um, some good, some bad. Um, and then also, I've gotten a lot of inform backstory information for Kaz. Yeah, mainly Kaz. Um, got more backstory of him. And his story is really like, it's really tough. Like the things that happened to him when he was a child, was, it's insane. Um, and it's understandable why he does certain things and how he acts in certain ways. Um, but yeah, the plot has really started to pick up and I'm excited. There was a bit of a betrayal and I was like, why? Um, but yeah, there's a lot of twists and turns and I'm excited that I finally, the things finally picked up. But I guess it makes sense that... Uh, a good portion of this was just like learning ab about the characters because there are so many characters in this book so it makes sense that um, and we follow them in each perspective this different perspective so for each character so it makes sense that a good portion of it was just backstory and learning about these characters um, so yeah um, but I like I said I'm excited that it's finally like picking up and there's been some shocking things that have happened and yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a bit, of a, a bit of a break. I do have to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna take a bit of a break and then read probably for like 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna read for another 45 minutes and then go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Did I say go to bread? <laughs> go to bed. So that's the plan for the rest of tonight. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys. I probably won't update again today. I probably will update tomorrow, maybe. I work tomorrow, which is so sad. I don't want to work. <laughs> but I'll update you guys again probably tomorrow. Hey, so I just wanted to wrap up this vlog. Um, it's like, I don't know how long this video, when I started this vlog. But it is Wednesday, April 21st, it's 1.41 p.m. And I finished Cricket, <clears throat> I finished Six of Crows by Lee Perdugo um, on, I think, Monday night? That's when it was, yeah. So yes, I finished this Monday night and I gave it four stars on Goodreads, but I feel like... It's maybe more like a three point, <laughs> I don't know, like 3.8. I don't know. <laughs> okay. This is what it is. I enjoyed this book. I enjoyed getting to know the characters and everything, but I didn't fall in love with this as much as I thought I was going to. So if you guys have seen my six, my, um, my shadow and bone trilogy vlogs then you guys will know that um because i said it multiple times how i went into the book into those books with zero expectations um and then i ended up feeling like it wasn't like amazing books but they weren't as bad as i thought in my mind they were gonna going to be based on what other people have said about the shadow and bone trilogy <clears throat> so when it came to six crows everyone loves this duology especially the first book so I went in with extremely high expectations of like something that's going to be like just truly amazing. And I think I went in with too high of expectations. So when I read it, I was just like, oh, this isn't as amazing as I thought it was going to be. But it was still an enjoyable read. I enjoyed getting to know the characters, like I said. My favorite, honestly, was Nina. I loved her sass um, and her whole dynamic with Matthias and yeah 
honestly don't come at me <laughs> I don't really know why everyone is in love with Kaz <laughs> I said it <laughs> I yeah I'm like I guess he's cool but like everyone's like literally obsessed with him and I'm like I'm not sure why <laughs> he has a very like dark backstory and everything but pretty much all all of the characters in this have a dark backstory so um yeah like I said I enjoyed getting to know these characters I'm excited to get to Crooked Kingdom just to see how this duology wraps up and everything so yes so those are my thoughts on Six of Crows please let me know down below who your favorite character is in the Six of Crows duology but no spoilers for the because I haven't read it yet so yeah just let me know um and in general your thoughts on Six of Crows and if you are one of the ones that absolutely love this duology also if your favorite character is Cass please let me know down below why you love Cass because maybe I it, maybe I don't I don't know maybe I just didn't see it but I would love to know like why everyone loves Cass so yes let me know and that is it I'm gonna be starting Crooked Kingdom soon I'm not gonna be able to finish it by the time the TV show comes out because it is Wednesday and the TV show comes out on Friday so we'll see what happens but yeah if you made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching and um like always social media links down below description box and um if you like this i don't know if i said it right if you like this video because give it a like it's like kind of what kind of video should post on here and if you haven't subscribed yet because <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to become a member of a little family here on yaddy hearts books and oh i, I didn't do the thing <laughs> yaddy hearts Yaddy Hearts Books, and I'll catch you guys here next time. Yes, bye.